Hi there and welcome back. This video we're going to be solving some uh, essentially genetics problems, but they're mostly focused on probability, like the sum rule and product rule. So the first question we have is, determine the probability that a sib ship of six will have four boys and two girls. Now first off, sib ship, that means, so this thing here is just saying, how do I say this? It's a family of, of siblings. So kids that a that two parents would have. So what are the chances that in six siblings, four of them are going to be boys and two of them are going to be girls? Okay, so to answer this one particular problem, first I want you to notice that it's actually unordered. It doesn't say that, like for instance, the first two uh, children two parents have are going to be boys. That would be ordered. In this particular case, it's just saying what are the chances that out of all through time and order and manner, you're going to have four boys and two girls. Now the easiest way to answer this problem is actually going to be to use uh, something called binomial expansion. Now essentially this is something like this. This is the formula for it. It's n to the factorial. So n means the total number of events. So in our case that's going to be a six, but I'll, I'll input that a bit later. Uh, then it's x factorial multiply n, subtract x. So x is the uh, tested event. Basically, we can either choose a two girl situation or four boys. And we'll decide that a bit later on. Then we have p to the x. p stands for the probability uh, that whatever event we chose would actually happen. Uh, then q to the power of n subtract x and q is the probability of the alternative happening so if we chose boys then q would be the the probability that the, the having a girl would happen so let's start inputting some values this here is called the binomial expansion so if we had a sib ship of six n is going to be six in our situation x let's say so x is the probability of something happening so let's choose just choose uh, four boys happening first off. So x in our situation then is going to be four. Four factorial. And I'll show you what factorial. Four factorial essentially means, so two factorial. This is equivalent to doing two times one. Similarly, three factorial is, is equivalent to doing one times two times three. So you can see what's going on. It's always multiplying the numbers up to getting to that number. So going back, uh, it's going to be 6 subtract x, or 6 subtract 4, so that's just going to give you a 2 there, so I'm just going to put a 2 inside. And, oops, uh, look at, um, I made a little mistake. Back in the binomial expansion little formula I made, this one down here is actually being to the factorial as well. Okay, going back to the problem then, this one's being factorialed, or whatever. <laughs> so now we multiply it by the probability that a boy would actually occur in a family. So if you don't know, the probability of being or having a child that's male or female is one half. So in that case, the probability of having a boy is going to be one half. And you, you uh, put it to the exponent of x, and x we have is four. Then you multiply it by the alternative probability, the probability of having a girl. Now that one is also a half, so we just put a half in here again. And then it's n subtract x, so six subtract four, and that's going to be a two. So if you input this into your calculator, which is actually kind of difficult, if you actually did the calculation again, you would get 0 0.2234 as the probability. Also, this is equivalent to 23.4%. That is the chance that out of six siblings, four of them are going to be boys and two of them would be girls. So the next question we have is, what is the probability that uh, boys would be the first four children born and girls would be the last two children born. So in this particular case, out of six siblings, so one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, boys are gonna be the first four of them born and girls would be the last two of them born. So the, the main thing I want you to notice here is this is ordered which means we cannot use the binomial expansion theorem at all. You can only use this for unordered problems. Like, if you had a family of five and you wanted to know what is the probability of having two girls, then you can use the binomial expansion theorem. But for this case, we can't. So to answer this problem, all we really have to do is multiply the probabilities of each. So what's the probability of having a boy? Well, that's one half. And similarly, that's the case throughout all of it. And what's probability of having a girl? That's also a one half. 
which says if you actually multiply all of this through, it's going to equal equal 1 over 64 as the probability that you would get f four boys as the first four uh, children and two girls as the last two. Okay, and jumping into the next question, what is the probability of getting all boys then? Well, that's actually going to be the same exact answer. And the, oops, sorry about that. And the reason that's the case is because, well, if we just swap out the boys here instead of the girls, it's still going to be one half as a probability, right? So if you just multiply it all through, you're still going to get 1 over 64. So that is the probability of getting all boys. Okay, so what about, what is the probability of getting all children of the same gender? Now this one's actually kind of tricky because same gender means you can either have males or females. So what is the probability of getting all boys, like, like we said? Well, we just answered that, it's 1 over 64. And similarly, if you think about it, it's going to be the same exact probability for getting all girls. So, to answer this problem, this is the probability of getting all boys, and this is the probability of getting all girls, 1 over 64. And if you want to figure out what the probability is of getting uh, all children of the same gender, you just add the probabilities of getting all boys to the probability of getting all girls. So 1 over 64, add 1 over 64, gives you 2 over 64. And if you simplify that, that's 1 over 32. And that's the answer. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And I do hope you're having a fantastic day.